dangerous diseases causing prolonged cough should not be ignored. Coughing is a manifestation of many different ailments, but the causes of coughing below are not to be ignored. Prolonged cough is the leading cause of illness. Most are benign or easily treatable symptoms such as cough due to bronchitis, allergic reactions, asthma or gastroesophageal reflux. However, coughing, especially cough lasting more than two weeks, is a sign of serious illness. 1. Pits This disease is basically excluded when the child is vaccinated, but it may return because many people think that the disease has gone away without further vaccination. According to a study by Emory University published in the Journal of the American Medical Association last year, in 2012, more than 48,000 cases of pertussis were reported in the United States with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Disease Prevention CDC, which is the highest number since 1955 and has killed 20 people. At first, the disease starts with cold-like symptoms including runny nose, mild cough and fever. After a week or two, coughing will be more, sometimes very intense, which makes you exhausted. Therefore, if you have this cough, it should not be subjective, but it should be taken care of promptly because if not treated, it can lead to pneumonia. Pertussis was diagnosed with blood tests, x-rays and antibiotic treatment. 2. Lung Cancer B.S. Roger M. Flores of Mount Sinai Hospital New York, USA, says 65% of people with lung cancer have chronic cough at the time of diagnosis and that may be the only symptom to diagnose. It is commonly thought that smokers are at high risk for lung cancer, but 28% of those who have it are those who have never touched a cigarette. Hence. If your cough spell lasts more than two weeks, especially if it is accompanied by bloody or rusty mucus, hoarseness, swallowing and chest pain. It may be an asthma attack in adults but you should not be subjective but must be screened with some laboratory tests that are necessary to not overlook tumors that may appear in the lungs or other organs. Other departments. 3. Pneumonia. Coughing in pneumonia is very different from other illnesses, usually a dry cough, persistent coughing and more coughing at night. Many people treat this symptom with an over-the-counter medication but sometimes this is not good because it hinders the release of phlegm from the lungs, from the body by coughing. Therefore, if you have coughing and cold symptoms that do not improve after 10 days, go to a medical facility for a medical examination. Also, you should seek medical advice early if you have trouble breathing, chest pain, high fever and, or coughing up blue or bloody mucus. Doctors will check the lungs, if there are signs of suspicion, need to do more blood tests, x-rays and in some cases may need to perform CT scan. Once diagnosed with pneumonia, the patient is treated with antibiotics and usually goes well for a few days. 4. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPD. More than 7 million American women live with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, which often makes you feel breathless. COPD is often the result of smoking, with a fourfold increase in the incidence of disease in the past three decades. According to the American Cancer Society, the number of deaths due to the disease is predominantly women. Therefore, if you are a smoker or have ever coughed, often with lots of mucus, especially in the morning, with shortness of breath, wheezing and chest tightness, do not delay, so see your doctor, respiratory or lung specialist as soon as possible to be diagnosed and treated, mainly prescription drugs such as bronchodilator. Besides the course of treatment, the first thing you need to do is quit smoking. 5. Laus tuberculosis caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is relatively rare in the United States, is common in developing countries such as Vietnam. People at high risk for tuberculosis if they have weakened immune systems, HIV infection, cancer. Therefore, if cough symptoms last more than three weeks, coughing up blood and usually accompanied by chest pain, weight loss, fatigue, fever, night sweats, TB should be treated early because otherwise, the disease can be fatal because TB bacteria can spread throughout the body, 
causing damage to the spine, joints, brain, even the heart. Tuberculosis Tuberculosis is diagnosed through a skin test or blood test and antibiotic treatment.